This proposed law has drawn sharp criticism from the gay community, human rights activists and donors who threatened to cut off aid to Uganda. But the movers of the contentious bill have vowed not to give up despite the pressure. The private member's bill proposes a death penalty for aggravated homosexuality and life imprisonment for people convicted of homosexuality. But a closed-door cabinet meeting attended by Ethics Minister Dr. James Nsaba Buturo resolved to support the bill but with amendments on the death sentence. We spoke with one voice. There's nobody who said that uh, we should legalize. And therefore it is naive for anyone to propose that the executive can demand the withdrawal of a bill which is not theirs. It's not possible. Although Dr. Buturo says cabinet unanimously agreed to let the bill proceed, sources that preferred anonymity told NTV that ministers Agri Awori, Isaac Musumba and Aston Kajara unsuccessfully pushed to have the bill withdrawn from parliament. Minister Aston Kajara recently said cabinet did not support the bill. Government, we are not responsible for that motion. But Information Minister Kabakumba Masiko told journalists at the Uganda Media Center here in Kampala that cabinet is in discussions with the movers. So a cabinet subcommittee was put in place to further internalize and digest the bill and continue dialoguing with the movers. So that committee of ministers is going to sit shortly to look at the bill and make proposals to the committee of parliament. For example, on the issue of death penalty, one thinks that, uh, that we should put more emphasis on rehabilitation. Mrs. Clinton rang me. What was she talking about? Gays. The president's statement raised eyebrows of his close allies in the NRM, saying he had bent to Western pressure. But Dr. Buturo says the president was misunderstood. The president was saying, let us take stock of this. He was not saying that the bill should be stopped. Parliament resumes on 2nd February following a long Christmas recess. It is expected that the anti-homosexuality bill will be top on the agenda of the New Year debates in Parliament.